Students, welcome to Sort of Sir's classes. The question is, let C i, where i ranges from 0 to n, be the coefficient of x to the power i and 1 plus x whole to the power n. Then C naught by 2 minus C 1 by 3 plus C 2 by 4 up to minus 1 to the power n by into C n by n plus 2 is equal to so 1 plus x to the power n is equal to n c 0 plus n c 1 into x plus n c 2 into x squared and so on n c n up to x to the power n. Therefore c i is equal to n c i. Now let n is equal to 2 then c naught is equal to 2 c 2 is e c naught is equal to 2 c 0 is equal to 1 c 1 is equal to 2 c 1 is equal to 2 and c 2 is equal to 2 c 2 is equal to 1 so using this expression we get half minus 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4 that is denominator we take the LCM so it comes out to be 12 6 minus 8 plus 3 is equal to 1 by 12 so the value of the expression is 1 by 12 for n is equal to 2 now let us check the options by putting n is equal to 2. So option A gives us 1 by 3. Option B gives us 1 by 4. Option C gives us 1 by 2 into 3 that is 1 by 6. And option D gives us 1 by 3 into 4 that is 1 by 12. Now since using this expression our value came out to be 1 by 12. So option D is the correct answer. The next question is consider the function fx is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial up to x to the power n by n factorial into a to the power minus x where n greater than is equal to 4 is a positive integer. Then which of the following statements is correct? Now just to make the calculations and notations easier, let us define en as 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial up to x to the power n by n factorial. That is this part. Now differentiating fx we get f dash x to be e to the power x 1 plus 2x by 2 factorial plus 3x squared by 3 factorial up to nx to the power n minus 1 by n factorial minus e to the power e n x into e to the power x by e to the power x whole squared which on simplification can be written as e to the power n e subscript n minus 1 x minus e subscript n x by e to the power x which is equal to minus x to the power n by n factorial e to the power x now differentiating f dash x once again and taking n factorial to this side to the left hand side we get n factorial into f double dash x is equal to e to the power x n into x to the power n minus 1 minus x to the power n e x by e x squared 
is equal to x to the power n minus 1 into n minus x by e to the power x. Therefore, f dash x is equal to 0. <laughs> implies x is equal to 0. But at x is equal to 0, it's not extrema that is it is neither a maximum nor a minimum as f double dash zero is equal to zero had f double dash zero been greater than zero it would have been a minimum and had f double dash zero been less than zero it would have been a maximum so the correct option is option a that is f has no local extremum